Starting today, the Biden administration has ended a border policy called Title 42 that forbid migrants from entering the country. Title 42 was put in place by former President Donald Trump at the start of the pandemic as a way to mitigate the spread of the COVID virus coming into the country, but it also mitigated the flow of asylum seekers coming to the U.S. Now the Biden administration will begin a new process for asylum seekers coming from Central and South America. And as senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan reports, the Biden rules are even tougher in many ways than those from Title 42. As Title 42 expired and some 60,000 migrants sought ways to cross the southern border, veterans who already made that difficult trip watched from their sanctuary in New Jersey. They want to remain anonymous. Juvai recalled his trip from Venezuela through the infamous Darien Pass. When I crossed the the jungle of the Darien, which is in Panama, I seen a lot of sick, sick kids families almost not being able to make it, dead bodies. I have concluded that it has been worthwhile, it's worth it. We have had hundreds of people show up here since September of last year, um, from Colombia, from Peru, from Venezuela. Reverend Seth Capperdale offers refuge at his nonprofit in Highland Park and says this latest surge will strain already scarce resources, but he adds it's nothing new. The border crisis reached New York City months ago aboard buses deployed from Texas. Mayor Eric Adams now wants other counties to share the burden, but they already do, Capperdale explains. Mayor Adams, whether he knew it or not, tons of the folks who were coming to the city were ending up coming to Highland Park, New Jersey, and to Vineland, New Jersey, and to New Brunswick, New Jersey. Some 300 Central American migrants currently get meals and housing through Capperdale's church. More are incoming, but how many? Donald Trump's Title 42 kept migrants out over COVID concerns, but the Biden administration's erected even higher hurdles, like a transit ban. Title 42 did end but the Biden administration imposed its own set of rules and regulations that are in many ways even more strict and um, punishing than Title 42 was. Um, it requires filing for asylum in every country uh, uh, prior to arriving in the United States. And then if asylum is denied, it places people on a five-year ban before they can legally apply for asylum again. The transit ban requiring migrants to request asylum in other countries en route worries family advocates. It forces uh, families into a very precarious situation where if their children enter unaccompanied or alone, they may be eligible um, to apply being unaccompanied children. But if they enter together as a family unit, they may be barred. ICE has already posted videos of migrants being deported today. And if they do get in, finding a lawyer will be difficult, even in New Jersey. There's a, a very big problem with capacity. Uh, all over the state of New Jersey. One of the big areas, for example, are many unaccompanied minors have been arriving here in New Jersey. Uh, they need legal assistance. And I know all the many, many attorneys who are working on this, not only our organization, but around the state, and they are pretty much across the board at capacity right now. It has been very hard for us. In the midst of this struggle, what I see as a blessing is to be able to be with my family with my husband and my kids. I do feel hopeful. Elizabeth's family fled drug cartels in Peru. She also found sanctuary at Copperdale's church, but like many migrants, she can't find a job without working papers. Advocates want more government resources. Migrant Maria describes job searches. They go door by door. Do you need help with your grass? Do you need help with your trash? I can fix your fence. Carla came to the U.S. to escape gang violence in Ecuador. I'm not here to be a burdensome to, to anybody. I want to go back to college, learn English, and also give back to the community that took me in. The struggle for resources is ongoing. Advocates expect the crisis at the border won't subside as long as U.S. immigration policy remains mired in political controversy. In Highland Park, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.